Metro Bank Fund Transfer to Security Bank. How to send money from Metro Bank to Security Bank via mobile app online. And if you're new to this channel and you want more helpful videos like this, please click the subscribe button. So, gamit ko ngayon yung cellphone ko and na-install ko na rin yung Metro Bank app. So, I'll tap this. And I'll log in with my username and password. Uh, by the way, kung wala ka pang online account with Metro Bank, meron kaming ginawang video about it. You may click this i button to check that video. And then, ito na yung online account ko with Metro Bank. So, currently, meron akong balance na 3,000 pesos. Later on, mababawasan to dahil magka-transfer tayo ng pera from Metro Bank to Security Bank. So, dito sa bandang taas, merong three lines. So, I'll tap this and tap Transfer to Other Bank. And you have two options to transfer, either through Instapay or Pesonet. Uh, for Instapay, yung limit niya is up to 50,000 pesos, while for Pesonet, up to 200,000 pesos. Mas malaki yung pwede mo i-transfer sa Pesonet. Pero hindi siya real-time transfer. It may take a few hours to one day or so para ma-transfer or mag-reflect yung pera sa kabilang account. While for Instapay, up to 50,000 yung pwede mo i-transfer for a day. And real-time yung pag-transfer, ibig sabihin mag-reflect agad yung pera ito sa pinagpasahan mo. So, I'll tap this Instapay. I-check ko kung real-time talaga yung pag-transfer. And ito na yung list of uh, bank accounts na napag-transferan ko na ng pera before. And na-save ko rin siya as beneficiary. That's why naka-enroll na siya dito. And under here, one-time transfer, I'll tap this transfer button. And for bank, I'll look for security bank. And then enter the account number here. And then fill up ko lang yung the rest ng information na inaas dito. Um, ilalagay ko dito yung owner ng bank account na pagilipata ng pera. And for the purpose, I'll have it funding. Well, for email address, um, gusto ko siyang palitan ng mobile number, so I'll tap this. And enter the mobile number here. And I'll save this as beneficiary. Ibig sabihin, may enroll na to sa list of third party accounts ko sa Metro Bank. So, in case gusto ko mag-transfer ng pera sa account na to, pwede ko na lang siyang piliin dun sa list of enrolled accounts ko. And then, I'll tap next. And then, I'll choose this account. And I'll enter here 500 pesos. And before I proceed with this, i-open ko muna yung account ko with Security Bank para malaman natin kung real-time talaga yung pag-transfer. So, I'll log in here. So, 98,095 pesos yung laman ng Security Bank ko. So, balik ako sa Metro Bank. Click next. And you have an option to provide a message to recipient, pero hindi ko siya gagawin. Instead, I'll tap submit. And hintayin ko lang yung one-time password na isa-send sa phone ko. And I'll tap submit. And it says here, transaction is in process. May reference number din dito. And may nareceive na rin ako mga text messages about this transaction saying na successful na nga yung pag-transfer. And also, make sure na i-save nyo rin yung reference number just in case magkaroon ng issue, like hindi nag-reflect yung pera sa kabilang account na pinagpasahan nyo, pwede nyo i-report yun gamit yung reference number. So, i-check ko yung Security Bank online account ko. It's currently 98,095. Dapat madadagan to ng 500. So, mag-log out lang ako. And then, mag-log in ulit. And ito na siya. Naging 98,595 pesos na yung pera ko dito. And nag-reflect na rin siya sa list of transaction ko. Ito yung 500 na pinasa ko from Metro Bank. And that's it. If you can think of other videos na pwede namin ituro online, please provide a comment below. And please like this video if you think na nakatulong tong video na to sa inyo. And here are other videos about sending money online and also about money investment. You can start investing sa maliit na halaga. And this is Lou from Invest Library. Until next time, bye-bye!